Hello, Survivor fans. Welcome to Survivor Vlogs. Um, yeah. Welcome to the channel. I see Mike's got a video up already. I haven't watched it yet. I've, I've stayed away from watching anybody else's opinions on the last night's episode. I, I uh, have my own. Uh, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just say real quick. I'm doing things a little differently this season. Uh, first of all, of course, you know, move to the new channel. Um, but also, last season my videos about those episodes were always like 15 minutes long, and I'm tired of doing that. So. Uh, what I did is, uh, well, actually I was very, very, very tired when I got home from work last night, so I watched part of the episode, and then I watched the rest of it this morning, and I made notes as I watched, so that, uh, you know, maybe I can rush through this, uh, you know, instead of taking so long to make a video, so uh, we'll get right to it now, um, so, um, yeah, here's a the theme song. Right, so uh, almost immediately, uh, when they're all standing on the mats looking at Boston Rob and Russell, and Francesca says they're just sizing us up. They're here to be troublemakers, and we know how they play. And immediately, Francesca became my favorite player of this season, at least until she gets voted off. And let's see. So after last season, so Fabio won last season, right? And he got he, he went off got with his million dollars, and looks like he got saved by Jesus, and now he came back as Matthew. I mean, can anybody tell the difference between Fabio and Matthew? <laughs> I love the part where Russell is talking about, oh, this is a new me, and then he starts talking about how he's going to take control of the camp. Uh, so it sounds like the same old, same old Russell to me. Uh, David's got him figured out already. Um, hopefully he'll remember what he says, that trusting Russell is foolish. And I'm liking Ralph so far. Uh, he's the kind of person, I mean, when this thing started, when Survivor first started, it was like 16 just regular old people showed up and the first few seasons were like that and then they it seems like in, in the last few years though it's gotten to where it's mostly models and and uh models and actors and then the occasional bartender or something and it's just not been quite as good so ralph i like because he's a real guy and so what's with the giving them hammers and nails and stuff like that usually they have to win things like that i mean they're making it a little too easy this season so far uh oh, Phillips a know-it-all. I kind of liked him at first, but he's becoming a, he became a know-it-all, uh, trying to tell everybody how to do stuff. Not good move, Philip. Oh yeah, then they got scissors and yarn and cloth. And I don't know why not just give him some cars and a fully stocked refrigerator while you're at it. Come on, this is a Survivor. Why are they getting all this stuff right away? And then when they showed Christina uh, finding the idol, and then she hid it under another log or whatever. Um, I had to say, uh, I was hoping nobody else would find it, because, I mean, where, the way she hid it, it was even more obvious than it was when she found it. And Philip's got it all together. Philip knows what's going on. Philip is the best player this season. Just ask him. He'll tell you. I don't know. People like Philip, the problem with them is uh, yeah, they're focused so much on how great they are that they forget to watch the other players. <laughs> <laughs> and I loved it when Francesca called Philip an annoying old guy in droopy fuchsia briefs. Uh, oh, and did I mention that we're an alliance together? <laughs> in my notes, I had to write, I think I love you the most so far. <laughs> well, that was a pretty cool cool challenge they did this season. Um, I'm kind of glad, you know, last season there was a lot of wimpy challenges because there was a lot, of, a lot of old people, uh, old people on the tribes, or on the old people tribe, and so there's wimpy challenges. That challenge was pretty cool, but it really showed that Russell's tribe is definitely the physical powerhouse. And then Russell's tribe won some flint. That I figured they already had some. It seems like they've got everything else they need. Oh, and Christina, your idea of getting rid of Boston Rob early, I understand. I mean, I don't like... I don't like that Boston Rob and Russell are on this season. I think it's stupid to bring them back this this quick. Uh, so I, I get it, but think about from a strategy point of view, and you know, you're keeping your tribe strong. Um, I don't I don't think it's a good idea to be voting off a strong player right now, and you know, and keeping a weak player around. That just sounds like something Russell would do. Yeah, Philip, grab for that leadership early. I mean, the leaders always win, don't they? 
So, uh, Philip, are you a special agent or something? Or you were? I mean, why are you so secretive about what you did? Uh, why don't you just come around and tell people? And I gotta say, I love the fireworks between Philip and Francesca at, at uh, Tribal Council. Uh, good argument. At first, Tribal Council is always a good, great way to start the season. This might end up being a good season. We'll see. Francesca. Francesca. Philip, it's not that hard to say. Try it. Francesca. All right, give me the immunity idol and you'll stay. <laughs> Great move on Rob's part. Gotta admit, I like Boston Rob. I just don't want him on this season. <laughs> oh, and Jeff, Mr. Probst, I gotta ask you this. Why did you go through the whole, if anybody's got a hidden immunity idol speech, I mean, why not just say, hey, Christina, do you want to play your hidden immunity idol right now? And I figures Francesca was my favorite and she's uh, already on her way to Redemption Island. And uh, I don't know if she's got what it takes to stay there, so uh, we'll see. It'd be fun if Philip got sent there next. So I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye.